Look at my border collie, my rotten lab right beside the mega truck guys. I wanted to get this so you get a size comparison. Good girls. You giving us a good size comparison to this giant truck? I wish I hadn't messed up the spacing of the back lights. That's what happens when you get overconfident. I can just eyeball it. No, now you have to buy a complete rear end so you can fix the mistake you made, you dummy. Look at this. 125 pounds, my friends. I remember the first time I made Overkill a dually, one of my old trucks. I bolted the tires together. It takes time. Eight shocks on here now, guys. One unsprung just as a dampener. For those that have been watching this build, thank you. Flyer ESC in the back. I only got an 8S in here today, even though it can go to 12. There is my winch, all mounted up. I don't think I've seen an eight-wheeled Primal RC trail truck. I actually have this geared down to the lowest uh, 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 gear I could get. The tallest spool I could get. Girls, good job, thank you. Kennel, come on, let's go, Kennel. Good girls. What a fucking monster. What the what? I need something to crush. Oh, whoa! How's my steering? Did I lose steering there? see here. Oh yeah, steering's not very strong. Unfortunately, I lost a thousand dollars worth of servos the other day. For whatever reason, my servos just wanted to crap out on me, those Reefs RC ones I had. I'm pretty sure it must have been a wiring accident, but I didn't see anything that had gone wrong. Regardless, I had to switch them back out to stock, but it's okay, I'm working on it. Somebody said they didn't really get the scale of my vehicle until I flipped it over one day. I'm gonna go up to my... Ah, nice, here comes Mama's car. Wow! <laughs> right? A lot of people just don't get the size of this machine. They're like, oh, what do you mean I can't fit it in the hallway? You can't fit that in the hallway. Can't fit this in the hallway. Can't put it in the hallway. <laughs> oh, like, huge. Clearly, this is so this? big that I could use some assistance. I'm happy to help. Yes. Can you kneel down beside this and give us like a decent size comparison? Cause nobody really gets it when they, they're like, oh, we can get this. I'm sitting on the tire, can you beside it? Sitting on the tire. Yep. Yeah, that is a monster truck, by the way. Yeah, that's literally what they defined a monster truck as? Yes. This is it. <laughs> Eight tires. Oh Everyone's gosh. gonna ask if I can float it across the ocean. If I hadn't have poked holes in the first set, the answer would be yes. Look at the water flying out of them. <laughs> this is an electric ride. It is running on six batteries in total. Eight tires and all that power. Okay, one more round for the boys oh, why and not? girls. Eh? I gotta watch so I don't bounce it that hard. Which sounds stupid for a monster truck, but I don't wanna bounce that battery back out. 
It's gonna eat for days. <laughs> okay, what do you guys think? More eight wheel action? I can switch between four wheel and eight wheel all the time. Let's go up here. Let's get it on the pavement to see one thing for them, even though it's in low gear. So you can, is it easy to switch between four and eight wheels? I just have to undo, I used two U-bolts in the tires each, right? I just went through two, go ahead, look on the side. I used two U-bolts where, so like a U-bolt is just a, a bolt bent into a U-shape and it came through on either side. I put two washers and two bolts on the bigger, um, on the bigger holes. And then I put another U-bolt on this side. So a total of four, keeping it, you know, as balanced as mm -hmm. I could. But I had to initially uh, put the uh, uh, 24 inch uh, washer on there and cinch this down with the U-bolts in there already. And then I put this on top, then I cinched it down, but not over torquing it because these are plastic rims, right? So it works out dope. I did this a long time ago with uh, Overkill. This might be my biggest build yet. It's sweet. And that low gear that came included with it is the bomb. And the servos are working pretty decent. Not as good as my reef servos, but I had a fire today when you were gone, dear, and I was ready to, <laughs> to this rock is, and this roll. This is how he tells me on film. Yeah, I love it. You know, let's go down. Let's get a shot on the paveway here. Riley Kennel. Look at the light show on that. It's too bad it's a little bit windy, but you know what? It doesn't really matter. What you're hearing right there is the clutch shoes winding up. Right? You'll ask, why isn't it just a direct drive? And the answer is, well, because it was cheaper just to use the transmission and chain gear that was there. So many lights. Look at this, I completely effed up. You know why? Because I was excited and I'm like, oh, I'm a pro, I can eyeball this. After all these years, I cannot do it. But I'll tell you what, you guys will ask me right now, are the eight wheels worth it? For aesthetics, absolutely. Hard on the servos, that's for sure. But look at that. That you can, like, that's what the old Bigfoot would have looked like, except it wasn't a chef like that, right? Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, so more of the Primal RC monster truck. I made this into a trail truck. You'll be seeing this on the trail in the creek. More to come, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time. Monster. Monster. I'm supposed to end the video. I just can't stop driving it, though. some jump with it. There's so much weight at the top, it's not made for jumping. I know, but I want to send it. <laughs> These are full size boulders. Monstrous. Oh man, dare I? <laughs> I do it because I love you guys. And I know you want to see it as much as I want to give it to you. if shit like that didn't happen. Archie Sparks, baby! <laughs> oh, 
Next time I'll do up the battery box and not be so dang excited.